It's like a refugee camp back in that office. I mean, it might have something to do with the fact that it's chilly that stings. Everyone smells and it's got flakes. And I mean, it's 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 wild back there. We need uh, Trump to come here and get rid of some of these people. Yeah, I agree with Trump. Send on them that. away. I agree with Trump. Not everyone belongs in this country. But it's some of the people who are right here legally. It's funny. I was listening to my pal Alex Jones. The guy sent me a clip. Uh, you know, that, that guy who came in here who I found tremendously entertaining. He was bashing me. He said, I'm, I'm he a good... He sent it to you. No, no, uh, J J.D. found it. Oh. He was, you know, he's got that voice. Rum, 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 and he was uh, saying, hey, Howard had me on his show, and it was great, and I met him, and he's a nice guy. But, you know, he did a terrible thing to Trump by saying he was worried about him and that, that I... He, Alex Jones makes up stuff about me. He was like, uh, Howard said that uh, he's secretly a liberal. and He did? Yeah, I didn't say when any did you of say that. that. I said that I believe that Trump was pro-abortion um, based on my conversations with him over the year, over the years. And I think this is a conversion, a recent conversion. And I also said, in my opinion, because he said, Howard Stern says, in, in his opinion, um that uh, Donald Trump is, is bad. It's bad for his mental health to be the president. Yes, of course, it's my opinion. Everything he said is true. It, it's my opinion. I think it's very hard for Trump, a guy who's used to being yes in business and, and conducting a successful business, to have to sit there and go to places and be booed and openly challenged and ridiculed on Saturday Night Live. I think it's very difficult. And yes, it's my opinion. This isn't based on any conversation I had with him. It's based on my knowledge of who he is. And I know who he is. I know Donald. And I would imagine it is very difficult for him to take the ridicule. That's all. So, I don't know. He was, uh, he was uh, saying I was being slimy. And, th and I'm slimy. I'm not slimy. Anyway, I was listening to those tapes last night. Here, I'll, I'll play it for you. I have nothing against Howard Stern. I've been on his show. He's a talented guy. He makes a lot of really good points. I've but, been on his network probably 15 times. And so I'm not here trying to have a beef with Howard Stern or a pissing contest because he's a giant talk show host, okay? I respect Howard Stern. But let me say, uh, listening to what he's... said and watching it on CNN. Why did you get on CNN? They were debating my comments on CNN. I told so top, you, that's yeah. ridiculous. He so got him all upset. <laughs> nah, I, don't, I, I don't even know what he's upset about. <laughs> is Looks pretty underhanded, okay? Yeah, Trump's really a big liberal. Yeah, he's... I didn't say he was a big liberal. I said he was a Hillary Clinton supporter. I know that. He's not who he says he is. I really love him, and he's real sad. I didn't say he's not who he says he is. He's exactly who he says he is, as far as I could tell. You know, this notion that I'm like um, close buddies with Trump. Trump and I have had to have shared many, many good times together. We've hung out. I've had uh, some really fun radio shows with him. And um, I just never predicted he'd run for president. And I'm not, uh, I like Donald. He's a nice guy. I'm just, my, my, pol my politics are not identical to his. By the way, I agree with him on many things. But not on all things. And the things What I do you agree with him on? Um, he is very much for reciprocity laws in the United States. What's that? Reciprocity has to do with the Second Amendment. That if you have a, a license or you're, you know, I believe in gun ownership. I believe that people have a right to protect themselves. I believe his stance on Second Amendment issues are very, very strong. And I agree with him on all of it. Now, there were, there were issues that I disagreed with President Obama on, but I voted for him twice because I felt there was enough that I could agree with. You know, how could you be a person and agree with, with the president? 100%. Of course, it's ridiculous. That's why when I hear the Rush Limbaugh show, I, it's hard for me to listen to. I mean, how do you agree with everything the Republican Party says? You know what I mean? Well, how can a whole network? <laughs> so the idea of reciprocity is if you're a, uh, a gun owner, you live in Virginia and blah, 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 and you're licensed and you're responsible, 
uh, you should be able to go to uh, any other state. Oh, and, okay. For, so yeah. the state to state being That's able right. to move around with a gun. Yeah, I believe people have that right. I don't believe the police can be at your house within one one half split second when you're being robbed. And I think I think everyday people need the right to defend themselves, and they need that right. Okay, uh, so you're as paranoid as the president. Well, give it what you want, but you know what? <laughs> Uh, a guy who, who lives in a suburban neighborhood whose home is uh, basically open season for criminals and robbers, you read about it every day, uh, people need a force multiplier of some kind to defend themselves. Uh, most politicians have a Secret Service detail, big politicians, and with that Secret Service detail comes their peace of mind. They have somebody who protects them. I don't them. have Secret Service. I have peace of mind. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, I believe you're like a sheep. You're a, le you're a lamb. <laughs> a sheep? A naive lamb. And that's a not sheep? A bad... Yeah, you're a sheep. You're full of shit. No, you're just a sheep <laughs> waiting to be attacked. And then you'll go, gee. Howard, I please. I was attacked. What do I do? Give me a break. You haven't been in that situation now. I've been in plenty of situations. Where you've been attacked? Sure. W really? I grew up in the same kind of neighborhood you did. Well, I'm, as a kid, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about, um, you know, protecting oneself and protecting one's family. You know, you know, you talk about, I talk to Richard about this all the time, where he grew up. It's very rural. There's not a police officer nearby. If you call the police, you're going to wait 20 minutes. <laughs> and um, these people live. Richard still <laughs> Richard still what, what is that? Going I said, on with you. Richard still survived. Somehow he's here. Well, he did. His family was never robbed. But um, listen, people have a right to defend themselves. Again, a lot of this stuff is going in with a howitzer when you only need a fly swatter. Whatever. I, I, so I disagree with you, I guess. But uh, what I'm saying is about Trump. I, you know, the the notion. That, so Alex Jones went, Jones went on to uh, call me a liberal and a this and a that. I'm hardly a liberal, I, um, but I, I don't consider myself a conservative. I'm an independent. I've I voted for Republicans and I voted for uh, um, Democrats. I, this notion that uh, each side wants to uh, take me on. The liberals call me a conservative and the conservatives call me liberal. I don't know why this happens with me because. Uh, they can't nail me down. I'm a true independent. I, I, listen, I was for Nixon. I was for Gerald Ford. I was for Rudy Giuliani. I was for um, 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 uh, Pataki. Pataki. Uh, you know, these are people I was for. But I also voted for Obama. I was for Hillary Clinton. I look. I evaluate the candidate and what they say and and the and the and and the nature of who they are, and whether or not I think they're really going to stick to their agenda. So all of this notion about uh, Trump, I know Trump from our radio show. Robin and I would have great conversations with, with Donald. You'd say to him, Donald, uh, well, let's talk women. He goes, OK, uh, well, go ahead. I own the Miss Universe pageant. Wait, it, what, Scarlett Johansson, is she a 10? And he'd go, honestly, she's a six. I go, really? And he'd go, yes, she's a six. Now, this was the funniest fucking thing I'd ever heard. To be so opinionated and to have such a command of six versus seven, seven <laughs> versus ten. If you're flat, you can never be a ten. These are, this was funny to me. Never expecting uh, Donald to become president and that all these tapes would become something, you know. To be examined. Examined like, like it's yeah. the Torah. <laughs> it's comedy. I've had comedians who come on and say outrageous things. I know they're doing it with a wink. I've done it myself to entertain you in your car. I'll exaggerate a position or use a word I don't normally use because I know it's funnier than the other word because I just want you to have a good time. So when they use these tapes uh, against Trump, I was like, oh, it's, you know, I get it, but I don't get it. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, OK, he did say it, but there was a context. You know, everyone forgets George W. Bush ran the Sibian in the 80s. They never brought that up. <laughs> Just to come in here, help the that girls undress. That stayed secret. Yeah. Now, um, and believe me, there are plenty of things I've done that, you know, I look back on and I'll cringe. But at the time, I thought it was funny. Different point in my life. You know what I mean? So, you know, you, I don't hold people accountable for what they do on the Howard Stern radio show.
And as far as Alex Jones goes, no, I'm not. Uh, everything you're saying is just odd. That's not who. That's not any. Well, I think he's, he's making, making an up argument, uh, and he's giving you his reasons for the argument. They just didn't happen to be what you said. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Here, I'll play some more. That you know, he won. But notice. Stern doesn't say Trump told him that. He said, this True. is how I feel. Yes. So it's a way of sounding like he's Trump's friend, but absolutely undermining the very bedrock of his credibility <laughs> that he's a pretender, that he's phony. No, everything you're saying is true. I said, I feel, based on the man I know, it is very difficult for Donald Trump to take criticism. Well, that's a definitive statement right yeah. there. Not a, I feel he would have trouble with this. But Alex is right. I, these are based on my feelings, but there's nothing undermining about them. Well, so again, I don't want to fight with Howard Stern. I've, I've been invited on his show. I've been on it. I have a big effect. He has a huge show. I don't even care about going on CNN or MSNBC or almost no response on those. Stern, huge response. Okay. Um, but it's just the facts are the facts. This is very underhanded. It's slimy, <laughs> and I just don't know if he knows how this looks because it's it, it's a load of crap, and all the evidence shows the opposite. You're making it seem as if I said something negative. I said something positive. I said something that was based on my understanding of the man and my concern for the fact that I really think that I, this is my feeling, that a guy with that great a life, with, with, with the money and the wife and the kids and the this and the that and having all these wonderful things. And I said, what did the guy need this for? Now, that's just my opinion, just like you have opinions. Something slimy or underhanded about it. So I wanted to correct Alex on that. You know, Alex is very fast and loose with the, with the truth. <laughs> well, again, I told you it was crazy that people were even debating it. Right. Yeah. Well, well you know. How about I admit right now that I'm in the Illuminati <laughs> and I'm a reptilian lizard person? If Would that make everyone happy? And really, my politics aren't all that complicated. I listen to the politician. I wait to hear what they have to say. And I decide whether or not I agree with it. Or I even think they can pull it off. You know, most politicians are really full of shit. When they, when they have an agenda of 50 things, know that they, they're full of shit. Real politicians cannot get more than one or two things done in any administration. It is that hard to run government. You know, you can have all the grandiose ideas you want, but it is, you, you literally have to narrow it down to what are the two things I want to do? Health care, okay, and something else. That's it. That's all you can get done. Or, you know, beef up the military and the, it's because it's not because the person doesn't have a desire to get it done. It's the way government is run. It takes a tremendous effort to get a bunch of people behind you and all vote for the same thing. So it's almost impossible. Uh, running the government is a very tedious, difficult job. You've got to be like um, that coach of New England, Belichick, and, 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 and plan, uh, make a master plan when you get into office. And hope to God that you can get one or two things done in your administration. Well, Belichick can get it done because he's a dictator. That's right. This is not a that's, dictator. That's show. right. There you go. See, Robin understands me. No one else. Fred, possibly. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But, um, but we spend our time on crap like this instead of what really is important. Your well, opinion that people debate. Well, uh, then you read the comments underneath, you know, on the Internet, um, underneath Alex's comment. You know, Stern's a dirty Jew. Don't fucking to listen to him. Uh, He's a fucking liberal yeah, dirty Jew. On, See, that's you know? what happens. Instead of yeah. dealing with even the facts there, it's you're a dirty Jew. But really, um, uh, one guy wrote in, as, long, as a longtime fan of Howard, I've heard this in every other show of his. Someone is twisting his words. Howard did not say this. Howard was, was uh, stating he could not believe why a man who has everything could consider running. But this article is wrong. P very uh, few people care about that. But um, but this guy has it. Yeah, right. I, we're living in an age where people don't care about the facts. No, people just go <laughs> on and say whatever they want about.